for K's wife in Edo, drops a note before escape. The police in Edo State are currently on the hunt of a pastor identified as Henry Hojo Chinno Ikupe, who was alleged to have stabbed his 29 year old wife, Patience Ukupe, in the presence of their six months old baby and escaped, leaving behind a note with 10 questions, apparently meant for his wife to answer. The guidance gathered that the couple got married in September 2014, but have been having issues that led to uh, leaving the house at number 15 Uluku Street. The runaway mother is said to be the pastor of the Mountain of Victory and Fire Deliverance Ministry, aka Power and Prophetic Church. It was gathered that the victim left her matrimonial home for some months until her husband invited her in the uh, form that they want to resolve their crisis. The police public relations officer who confirmed the incident described it as tragic and barbaric and vowed that the culprit would be arrested and brought to book. Well, hello guys, you are welcome to Prosper Channel TV. Here we give you updates of things happening around you and the world as a whole. I want to appreciate every one of you who have subscribed to this channel. Thank you for your support. God bless you. If you are here for the first time, please quickly press the uh, subscribe button and also press the bell icon. This is where you get notification whenever I upload any video from this channel. Thank you very much for your support. God bless you all. Now to the news in full. Pastor Key's wife in Edo drops a note before escape. The guardian obtained a copy of the statement left behind by the flying, fleeing pastor and the 10 questions included. One, have we ever in life went to beg for food and since when we got married? Has your mother ever brought food for us to eat one day because of hunger? Have I not told you at the beginning that I hate someone insulting me? In the first place, did you really come out with your own full mind? Did you come to marry me because of money or for who I am? Who gave you the order to pack your property away from my home? Who is your advisor in this marriage that is pulling your mind against me? You always pray that God should help you to eat the fruit of your labor. So, no man has the power to take one's life, but today, we are going together. So, how do you feel now? These are the 10 questions the, questions the pastor left behind for the wife to answer. <laughs> you see, the... The problem we have is uh, so many persons we come out with this tag of uh, being, this tag of name pastor, prophet, bishop, reverend. That is my annoyance. You are calling your name, you are calling yourself all these names and you are not, you are not what you, 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 you claim to be. These are not men of God. They are not men of God. You cannot claim to be a pastor and you use your hands to kill. You see the problem? Most of them are spiritualists. Most of them are native daughter. But funny enough, people are blind to see it, that they are not men of God. They will come and tag world, whatever name is their uh, church, and you see people tripping in there because 
in the name of miracle, in the name of signs and wonders. These people, they are not men of God. They are not pastors. So many things are happening. Most of them, they kill and bury people in the altar for miracles. But people are blind to see these things. They brainwash people. Just look at what happened in a, the same in Edo State when a pastor uh, was going out, yeah, going out with his own member, a rich, a rich, a rich, a rich woman. You know, the husband was where to do before they they killed this man. They killed the man and burnt the man inside the car. This is a man of God. At the end of the day, what did he say? He said it was a work of the devil. So you see, when a society is meant for only politicians and the lucky rich, rich one to survive, all forms of, uh, uh, you know, the other part of, uh, the other side of a uh, person's day, they are struggling to see how to measure up. And this means the survival will spring up. Uh, many pastors are in need to make end meet and become like the rich also. All of them want to be like Oyedepo. All of them want to be like those one. Meanwhile, why Oyedepo was drinking Gary and Granot in Kaduna, those days, they wasn't there. You cannot, you cannot become rich in one day. You have to suffer. If actually you are being called by God, you have to strive. And at the end of the day, God will bring you to the top. But these people, they don't know that that is how life is. They want to become rich. Now he has killed his wife. What becomes of him? This is, these people, the same people, people come to them for counseling. People come to them for counseling. So for 2014, they've been having this problem, you know, and people still come to them for counseling. They cancel people. And you cannot even solve your own problem. You end up in killing your wife. You are writing so many questions for her to answer. Anyway, that is his problem. He has killed his wife. Police, they are looking for him. Is going to answer these questions he left behind because the wife is not there to answer any longer. Yeah, someone is saying here, not be him, be Oga and the overseer. Why in they run when Holy Ghost fire? Ah, uh, they follow us. Mumu follows for our Nigerian. Shine your eyes. Okay. Someone is saying, don't kill because of a woman. There are billions of them out there. Yeah. There is no need killing. Then another person is saying, you're not a pastor, but a spiritualist. A pretender with a title of a pastor, but working for the devil. You are already a dead man. No peace for the wicked. I said it. They will tag their name, pastor. Give, give themselves big names. They are not. Okay? Then somebody is saying, Never you go blind-minded with the things of this world. You will be provoked. But God, we trust. Okay? People with a different opinion. Someone is saying here, after saying that they are going together, he ran away. Coward. You allowed a woman to drive you crazy. Oh. Then, another person is saying, she has packed out of his house. Why will he stay Invite her to kill her. He's bad. He's not a pastor. He's a friend of the devil. Okay. Then another person is saying, women have been frustrating the men right from the beginning. Not all can, not all men can tolerate this nonsense. But that is not enough for one to take someone's life. Okay. It's not enough. You cannot take someone's life because you are not the giver of the life. Whatever reason, you don't have the right to take someone's life. The best thing, you just walk away. 
that settles the matter. She's not the only woman on earth, okay? You can as well go and you sue for divorce and get married to another woman. What's the need of killing someone? No matter the offense, you don't have the right to take one's life. All right, guys, I'm going to drop it here. Please kindly leave your opinion in the comment box below. Thank you very much for stopping.